<laughs> Traditionally, Yoon isn't the biggest game month. Uh, but this year, actually, Yoon has quite a few big titles coming out, and uh, we'll give you a brief run through of these titles. Imagine me in June. I do. I think about you day and night. It's only right. First up is Hunted the Demon Forge, uh, a title from In Exile Entertainment, being brought out by Bethesda on PC, PlayStation 3, and Xbox 360. Basically, a little bit of an alternative take on the, the dungeon crawl genre. Uh, we'll see if uh, Hunted will sort of bring back the glory days of those dungeon, hunter, dungeon crawlers uh, to gamers, or if it falls flat on its back. Um, that remains to be seen, but it's uh, the first game that we're focusing on this month. So very fun, so happy to Looks like you've gotten under somebody's skin. See if there's basically two types of people. All stubborn guys like me. We may not like the hell that happens to us, but we deal with it. There are guys like you. Next up is a big game for Sony fans. Infamous 2. Uh, Cole is back. And uh, this time there will be user-created levels and stuff. And that's really something that we haven't seen this kind of sandbox action-adventure type game. Um, of course, Infamous marriages uh, the, the sort of open sandbox play with uh, supernatural powers and uh, a lot of exciting gameplay and, and an interesting story. So it's going to be see interesting to see if, if Sucker Punch can uh, Hit it again, do, do what they did with the first one, and perhaps even build on that. So uh, that's a big title for PlayStation 3 coming up in this, this year. And we're going to Mars again, but this time it will be a little bit different in uh, Red Faction Armageddon. Uh, the boys at Volition are once again at it with Red Faction and the destruction and all that uh, that we come to expect from the series will be in there. Uh, but it's also a little bit of a different atmosphere than the last one where we were basically a lot on the surface. So uh, Red Faction Armageddon is, is coming out on PC, PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 as you would expect. And, uh, you can play the demo if you're interested, so uh, check that out. Uh, I think there's an interesting unlock if enough players play the demo, so make sure you do that, uh, because everyone will be happy then. <laughs> What's new, pussycat? <laughs> can we play hooky today? I'm feeling naughty. I never thought the day would come when I'll be standing here doing a Games to Look For show and I would actually announce that yes, Duke Nukem Forever is due out this month. It's gone gold, it's done, it's finished, it's coming out 12 years or well, it's more, right? It's 13 years, 14 years of waiting is finally over, Duke is back. Uh, and if it wasn't for the fact that, that Gearbox Software are now responsible for the products, I would not have been able to put this in stone because with 3D Realm, you would never quite know what was coming out. But Duke Nukem, out this month, you better believe it. What? Did you think I was gone forever? Three, two, one. Alice, tell me of your wonderland. Speaking of old acquaintances, Alice is back and the madness will return in Alice Madness Returns. Uh, from uh, American McGee and uh, Spicy Horse Entertainment, it's another action adventure platforming game that takes place inside of Wonderland and inside of Alice Dementia, her madness, and she, as she's trying to seek out who uh, 
who actually murdered her family and uh, basically sent her spiraling down this slippery slope. And um, it's a game that looks amazing visually and it's going to be very interesting to see how that plays out when we get our hands on the full game and uh, I cannot wait. The next title is a game that takes me back about, oh, say 10 years to Res, of course. Uh, and Child of Eden is the spirit, spiritual successor to Res. And um, it's a game that I'm looking forward to playing. Uh, of course, it features Kinect uh, functionality, but I'm going to play it probably with my hand controller, uh, most likely. Uh, it's a visually stunning game that blends music and fantastic aesthetics uh, with a, an addictive and nice gameplay and an experience that uh, just transcends what most video games can conjure up. So it's a game that someone who's out for a, for a different kind of experience, a very intense experience, really needs to check out. And uh, Child of Eden from Q Entertainment and Ubisoft. Hunted the Demon's Forge is not the only dungeon crawler to come out this month. Uh, we've also got Obsidian Entertainment's, uh, Entertainment's Dungeon Siege 3. Um, as you may know, uh, the series used to be developed by Gas Power Games, but now Obsidian has picked it up. And it's going to be interesting to see what they do when they bring it to consoles as well as PC uh, and see if they can sort of bring back the glory days of the dungeon crawler. Uh, I've been sorely missing a, a, a proper, good, nice, polished dungeon crawler for many years, so I'm looking forward to seeing if, if Dungeon Siege 3 fits the bill. Up is not really a new game. It's an old game, but an old game on a new platform. Uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is perhaps one of the great, greatest classics there are in video game history, so anyone with a Nintendo 3DS should pick this one up as it comes out this year. Uh, it's a game that I think everyone has great memories of on the Nintendo 64. Of course, it's since come out on other platforms as well. Uh, but uh, this, this 3DS version also features some extra elements that they've added thanks to the 3D and uh, pretty much I think, I think it's the first real must-own title for the Nintendo 3DS. That is unless you've played it to death of course, but you know, we, we all know that this is going to be a great game. Uh, just needs to see how it, how it plays on the 3DS, but I think we can all rest assured that this is going to be uh, something for all Nintendo 3DS owners to pick up and buy. I became the instrument of my mother's revenge, but when my brother put a bullet in my head, he unlocked the evil he had buried inside him and gave me a new life. Playtime. This next game is, is a game that has been pushed like Almost every month it's been pushed one more month to release, so I wouldn't take poison on the fact that it's, it's coming out this June, Fear 3, uh, but 
probably it's going to be released late this year. And uh, the game is, it's, it's another game where the series has switched developers. It's uh, Day One Studios are responsible for this one instead of Monolith Productions, who did the first two games. Um, they have experience with the series since before, and it's going to be interesting to see after a sort of uh, a game, the second game, uh, Project Origin, didn't really do as much for us as the original did. So it's going to be interesting to see if, if the series can pick up once again, or if uh, it's one of those series that sort of is on a slippery slope downhill and um, perhaps not being as relevant as it used to be. Uh, we're going to have to wait and see for that one, but Fear 3 is coming out this June, fingers crossed. So it begins. Let the bloodbath begin! And finally, uh, Shadows of the Damned is coming out this June. Uh, the collaboration between some of the more high-profile Japanese uh, game creators of late, uh, Suda51 and his Grasshopper manufacturer, uh, Shinji Mikami, of course, of the Resident Evil fame, and uh, he was last responsible for Vanquish, and also uh, the composer Akira Yamaoka, who did the Silent Hill soundtracks. They're teaming up to bring uh, uh, Tarantino-esque uh, Devil May Cry meets Hell meets uh, No More Heroes crazy weird game that's gonna you know have us twisting and turning our heads and it's, it's, yeah, speaking skulls and all kind of weird stuff is gonna go on. That's it for this month of uh, games to look for. June is a really packed month for once. And uh, we'll be back in July where things are probably a little bit more quiet. But uh, that's it for this show. <laughs>